Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today I'm gonna to be testing out a new Paul Rubens pan set. You guys know how much I love their watercolors and they just came out with a new one so I can't wait to dive in and test it out. Let's get started. Okay, so I recently was gifted this new palette set from Paul Rubens. It's their fifth generation artist level solid watercolor pigments. I believe they are the same paints as the ones that I have here in the tubes. It's just a pan set. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I love, love, love this set. I've used many of them um, and they are in my ultimate palette some of them and then I have like a separate Paul Rubens palette that I squeezed a bunch of those in but now they have a pan set with I think 24 colors so let's take a look I'm curious to see which colors are included in this because I definitely have some favorites from my tube set and it comes with this cloth they always come with this beautiful cloth I'm not sure exactly what it's for I don't know if you're supposed to dab your water you're like your paintbrush on it or not but it's always like a protective cloth and then it comes with a little pamphlet of the colors so it does have the color uh, pigments in the pamphlet uh, the rest of it is in Chinese but you do see the pigment numbers and then I can see the transparency legend as well as the light fastness and they all look pretty amazing I already love these watercolors so it's nice to have them in a little palette and obviously the beautiful palette design this time. They've changed it up a bit. And here are the watercolors. We're gonna open those in a minute, but it does come with a whoop, it does come with a swatch card, which we are going to be testing on it. Oh, it's like a sparkly paper. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be swatching them and then maybe I'm gonna paint something with them. So let's get into seeing what colors they have as I unbox these. Um, I'm, I'm just excited. I love a new set. Just from the labels, it looks like a nice range of colors. So these tins also, you know, you have the removable palette so you can have extra mixing wells. Um, tins, nice quality, has the little ring on the back, really cute. And then what I just noticed is they have, looks like an easier way to open. Yes, oh, I don't know why. One of my biggest pet peeves is when they're like super wrapped in plastic and there's all this waste and they're just so difficult to open. So this is actually really nice. So uh, I just wanna make sure that I have the labels the same um, because it doesn't have the color, the words of the color on here. It has the pigment numbers, but it doesn't have the names of the colors, but it does on the labels. So as I swatch them, I am going to put the colors at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see what colors they are. But for now, I'm just gonna open these all up, place them in my palette, and then we will get started. Okay, so now that all of the labels are removed, I have written down the names of the paint colors as well. They show the pigment number. Um, and now we're just gonna get to swatching them. I'm gonna swatch them over what I wrote to see how transparent or opaque they are and we're just going to relax and if you can't read that I am going to have the words the names of the paints down at the bottom of the screen so you can look so let's test these out and give them a swatch while we listen to some beautiful music Thank you. 
Okay, so there's all of our colors swatched. I actually really love the color palette that they chose for the 24 colors. Um, one of my favorite colors, French Blue, which you guys probably saw in one of my videos of one of my all-time favorite colors is in this set. Um, they also have some really nice deeper reds and this quinacridone maroon is really beautiful. I love a good olive green, which they didn't include their regular olive green, which is one of my favorites. Um, they have olive green dark, but I'm going to show you how you can mix this to make it a little bit more 
uh, olivey and I don't know, there's some really nice mixtures that you can make with this palette. So now I'm going to paint a little something. I'm going to mix up some colors to show you, but I really enjoy these paint colors. So let's get to that. Okay, so now I'm going to do a quick floral painting with the Paul Rubens paints. Um, like I said, with the greens, I do love the olive dark green but I do gravitate more towards a lighter olive. So just quickly before we start, I just want to show you, you can mix that easily. You can just grab a little bit of orange and then you have this beautiful olive green. So super simple to mix um, with this color palette, a really nice variety of colors. Okay, now I just want to start painting because I love these and they're so pretty. So let's just get started. I'm using my uh, half inch flat brush from my new brush set and I kind of just want to paint some tulips just some loose tulips I love tulips I love the spring for tulips so I'm just gonna do some nice loose tulips with this bright like so I do have lots of um, tutorials on tulips on my page that I've done many times. So if you wanna check out a full length tutorial, this is more just me painting with these paints. Um, so I think I'm just gonna put on some music while I use them so I can kinda of just get the full effect and just enjoy them. And you guys can watch this painting in real time.
go. So there are my kind of loose, colorful tulips. I really do love this palette. It's so easy to use. The colors are great. Um, and that's all I really have to say about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little review and I will see you soon. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.